Greetings, it's Alex Scher with the Shelburne Freelancer. I'm here today with owner of Shelburne Town Pharmacy, pharmacist Sanjay Lakey, and uh, we're here today to give a slight review on the flu shot. Nice to see you today. Hello, Alex. Good morning. Good morning on this nice, bright, sunny day. Oh, yeah. So we're here today to discuss the flu shots. How many flu shots did you perform this year? Um, just a shy of 300. And do you remember what they were for? Like what was in the concoction, the names of the viruses? Yeah, there, um, there are two um, were for, one is for H1N1 and one is for H3N2. The second one is bee food virus and the third one which is for the first time until you got it um, that is for children and that is Brisbane. And um, did the shots actually help people avoid the flu this year? Did you see yes. that? Yes. This, uh, this year since um, um, the, it is all actually recommended by WHO which is World Health Organization so they um, are the people who um, uh, like get um, and tell um, the northern hemisphere that um, we wanted to put these strains of virus in there. All right, next question. Um, would you always recommend the flu shots? Yes, flu shots as actually the best way to um, prevent the seasonal flu. So every flu season, because the virus is um, different, so um, it is recommended every year. Um, and then it usually starts in November, so we should get it. And who should get them? Seniors, children, babies? Um, anybody from um, six months old to or who lives in Ontario, who works in Ontario, um, goes to school in Ontario, should get it. But the, uh, the higher uh, risk people um, who are like children who go to school, um, so they are the main carriers, as well as uh, people who are in uh, long-term facilities, so they should get it, and people who have uh, um, some underlying conditions, like um, some neurological condition or other uh, condition, like heart condition, they should get it so that it doesn't interfere with their okay. life. And who should not get the flu shots? Um, so um, it's only a handful of criteria there where we use here. One is uh, if a person has an active infection with or without fever. Or the second is um, if uh, the person has uh, Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is a neurological condition uh, where the nerves in the periphery of our system get affected. And the third one is if a person had um, an allergic reaction to the past flu shot in the in the past years. Are there side effects? Uh, side effects are very minor. They are um, mostly a little bit of tenderness on the site of injection as well as uh, some redness there or and usually goes away after one or two days. And, and so far this winter, aside from the flu, uh, what are you hearing the most complaints about health-wise? People are coming in to see you for what? Uh, people are coming for um, uh, cold as well as which is which happens every year this year a little bit more on the stomach flu side that we have seen uh, more people coming in for that um, and uh, and also some allergies um, are also a little bit on the higher side at least in uh, in my opinion would you say this is a money-making business venture on behalf of drug companies is it um, necessary to get the flu shot or? Um, it is uh, recommended, highly recommended because worldwide it is recommended by um, all the health uh, practitioners. So um, it is more um, of uh, the big companies working uh, with the government so that people get, can, can get um, the protection when they, when they need it. So that um, I, I really, really don't think it is anything which is um, in a profit side that is the primary objective. The primary objective is that uh, Canadians can get uh, immunization before the flu hits. Um, can you compare society as a whole? Just as a pharmacist, you may have seen the change. Uh, people Before people were able to get the flu shot, say 20 years ago, mm -hmm. um, they'd get a flu, they'd stay home, they'd be sick for five, ten days, they'd come back to work when they mm -hmm. were better. Um, now. How do you see the difference in society today when um, they experience the flu? Well, 
the life is more uh, fast paced now so for sure and then uh, there's always um, a difficulty in um, in arrange making arrangements like um, a daycare or um, um, like um, the, the missed job um, um, uh, like time so you know it is um, it's a hard economy nowadays so for sure and fast-paced uh, life so uh, yeah <laughs> I think it is uh, basically um, you just have to do whatever you can do and stay home for whatever you can do. Stay. What is your advice for someone who encounters the flu and hasn't taken the flu shot? Well, if they are um, sick at this moment, then they should wait and before they get better. And then as soon as they get better, they should get a flu shot. And then still it is on. The um, Ontario government is still uh, giving that um, at, at locations as well as the doctor's offices. So it's not too late? It is not too late. And Shelburne Town Pharmacy is the perfect place to get it. And so in your opinion, you find the uh, concoction of the flu shot is the right one for this year? Mm -hmm. Yes, I definitely uh, believe that. I, although I don't have a data any, any or anything from anybody, but um, a lot of people who got the flu uh, shots this year, they are very, very happy and um, they are not sick because of flu. Perfect. And do they need to make an appointment? No, they just walk in and bring their OHIP card. Can you just tell people, in case they haven't heard of you yet, where you're located and your phone number? Uh, we are located in Giant Tiger Plaza, and uh, we open seven days. And we are located, uh, as I said, sorry, I'm repeating that. And uh, my phone number is 519-306-5500. So seven days a week, and then the shortest days is our Sunday, which is 10 to 4. That's great. Now, there you have it, right out of the mouth of Sanjay Lakey, Shelburne's, Shelburne Town Pharmacist. Thank you very much. This is Alex Shear sharing Shelburne with the world. Thanks, Alex.